Hi, I'm Tracy Sofra and I work with career-minded professional women. And for too long, women have been told they're not good with numbers, they can't manage money, and one day someone's gonna finally rescue them. And I'm here to dispel that myth once and for all. So this morning, I'm gonna pick up where I left off yesterday in terms of taking step number two in making sure that we're all over our cash flow. And step number two is actually in the knowing. So knowing what is happening with the money that comes in and comes out of your little kitty in your home or in your business. Yesterday I spoke about the cash flow patterns of the poor, the middle class and the wealthy. So that was about understanding, understanding cash flow because this is not something that's taught to us in school. Remember, money is a skill that's not taught and it's not necessarily handed down from our families. It depends where we come from. So if you've been watching my series of videos, you'll know that we went back in order to go forward. You'll know that we discovered where we came from, from money and then we took the right steps to move forward in our lives. So it is all interconnected. Believe you me, all of this stuff is interconnected. So if you've started here, I suggest you go back and watch all the other videos. It's gonna make a lot more sense. But understanding cash flow is really about the, the, the secret thing that nobody tells you about. So were you able to identify which one was your cash flow pattern right now? Was it that you were living from hand to mouth? Was it that you were investing in lifestyle toys that you thought were assets? You know, a lot of the time, it's this case of keeping up with the Joneses. It's, um, I heard this, this quote once that said, spending money that you don't have on things that you don't want um, to impress people you don't like. I mean, how often is that true? And particularly in this day and age when there's so much social media and people posting about their lives and it's not all necessarily, um, you know, Skittle and, and beer and Skittles, if you like. So um, really, really important to identify that for yourself. Understand thyself is something that is a constant in what I teach. And this is just another component of it. This is, this is I guess, the financial component of knowing thyself. Or were you identifying with the people that create wealth? Were you doing or are you doing those things where the wealthy pay themselves first? Remember that? Remember? Remember putting the money that you earn first and foremost into a separate place. That's the key. That's the secret that no one tells you. And that's the thing that most of us think we can't do. And, and I do, you know, I've worked with so many women over the last 30 years and I do get, but Trace, you know, there's never enough. How am I supposed to pay myself first? That's the first roadblock. That's almost the first thing of, what the hell is she talking about? I can't make, make ends meet. How am I supposed to pay myself first? Well, listen here, this is how you pay yourself first. So once you've identified which one of those cash flow patterns are yours, this next step in the knowing is knowing what your cash flow pattern is. And the only way you can do that, dare I say, sorry to mention this, it's called the old word budget, but I've renamed it because nobody likes the word budget. I mean, I don't like the word budget. Who likes the word budget? It kind of conjures up um, self-deprivation. It kind of has a negative connotation. It doesn't feel good, does it? Nobody looks for the budget bargain. Everyone looks for the extreme bargain, the, the thing that we all want, but don't necessarily want to spend that sort of money on. And then when it's half price, we're all there buying it, yeah? So it's that sort of feeling. I've renamed it cash flow analysis, because that's what it really is, isn't it? It's about analyzing what comes in and what goes out. And the difference between the two is what's left. What's actually left in the kitty? Do you know what's left in the kitty? Have you ever done this for yourself? And please don't say it's all up here, Trace. Because once again, I've worked with so many clients that have said to me, it's all up here, Trace. And I've simply said with all respect, please just humor me, do it for me, pop it down on a bit of paper, spend an hour or two with your partner over a cup of coffee or a cup of tea one night, all relaxed, it's not about the dollars and cents, it's about the guesstimates, best guess scenario. Because the worst thing you could do is get bogged down in this process and go, oh, what the hell, this is all too hard and walk away. That's the worst thing that you could do. That's inaction and we need action now more than ever before, right? So how did I do it? 
get your last lot of bills from the year before and have a look at one bill you know the the, the phone bill comes once a month uh, what's the average phone bill is it 85 bucks a month yet yeah, multiply by 12 done that's your phone bill for the year so I want you to do it in this format if you do my program you'll get all the resources and all the materials to help you do this so what you need to be able to do is quite clearly document what's coming in from wages and any form of income. So if you've got rental properties, pop those in. If you've got any investments already, pop those in. If you have income from different sources, such as if you've got a business on the side, pop those in. And then you need to look at the expenses that are relevant to those income. So for example, if you've got a rental property, you could quite easily put the net amount in income rather than the gross, what we call, call gross, which is you know, the, the rental, less the expenses on the other end. Depends how simple you want to keep it. But the bottom line is, what it's going to get you to do is go through every single expense that you pay for, that you incur. And I'm going to bet my bottom dollar that you're going to have moments of, oh my God, I didn't realise we were spending that much on whatever it may be. All of a sudden, what it does is it shifts the focus from a more um, macro point to a micro point where everything's in your face. And when it's in your face, that's the time to make decisions. And at that point, you're able to say, wow, okay, is this really necessary? Is this expense gonna give me what I want in the long term? Remember we went back to goal setting? Remember we did goal setting? So you're going to know who you are, what you stand for, what are your not negotiables. You're going to have already set your value-based goals and this is an extension to that. This is the skill set piece that I'm giving you in order for you to take these skills that I'm going to share with you to enact what you want as a person for the rest of your life. So are those expenses going to give you what you want with the goals that you set? And all it does is give you that focal point of assessing and knowing where your money's going. And only then can you make decisions about what your next step is gonna be. Because when we did the reality check and we had a look at our assets and our liabilities, what we own less what we owe is what we're worth, that was our starting point in order to make these decisions that we're about to make now. So once you know, once you understand cash flow patterns and then you now know what your cash flow pattern is, you can then make decisions in terms of structuring the pay yourself first concept, which is tomorrow, that's the strategy, mastering it. How do we master this? And I'm gonna share that with you tomorrow, but right now in this space, don't call it a budget, it doesn't feel good. Cash flow analysis is so much more positive, isn't it? The eternal optimist that I am, it's so much more positive. So let's do the analysis. And I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, and you might get it in one hit, but never ever give up. Remember, that's one of our key principles. We never give up, we keep trying. That's what we do. So, income, what's coming in, expenses, what's going out. Are you in negative? And if you are in negative, that means you need to do something really quickly, right now. I mean, that's alarm bells ringing. That tells me that you're obviously spending way more than you make. And that means that we need to have a look at this immediately. This is emergency. This means that we're either living on store credit or credit cards. We're clocking up debt somewhere. And remember when I spoke about debt, debt is something that's brilliant if you buy assets that put money back into your pocket, not take money out of your pocket. And if you're using debt for discretionary expenses, you're in a whole lot of trouble and that needs to stop right now. But how do you know that if you don't do this knowing piece? So important. If you've got excess, my question always is with the women that I work with, if you've got an excess, I always say, do you reckon that's a, bit, a fair call? Do you reckon that's how it feels in your day to day? Most of the time I'll get, yeah, Trace, yeah, yeah, you know, it's not hard, you know, we have plenty of cash left over. My next question is, do you think we could put a little bit of that away each week, fortnight, monthly, however you get paid? And the answer generally is, sure, why not? So it's really, you know what it comes down to a lot of the time? It's the fact that we haven't given this exercise the time it deserves and the focus that it deserves because we go on our merry way just thinking that things are always going to be okay but I want you to get back in the driver's seat. I want you to make decisions about your future and those decisions start with the money that you make every single day in your hand.
yeah? That cash is king, literally. Don't waste it. Time is not, it's finite. There's no infinity to time because at some point we finish. And we wanna make sure that we've made the most of the years that we have worked because our ability to earn an income is incredibly powerful. Don't waste it. I'm Tracy Sofra. I work with career-minded professional women. Please like my page so we can connect every single day. Love chatting to you all. Make sure you click the button to register for my program. You'll get early access. And once you do, on the other end, you're gonna get a free ebook. So how's that? Um, sharing most of my tips and tricks with you. Love seeing you. Have an incredible day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.